Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this one, we are going to talk about where to apply as a remote developer. Now there are certain sites, there are certain forums that will help you to understand how to apply and where to apply. So in this specific video, we will be talking about different sites which are trustworthy and can help you to find your next job as remote developer. Now this video is specifically for beginners as well as freshers who are just out of college or who have one or two years of experience and mostly for computer science students who are looking for a job or internship in their next semester. Now the first thing I really wanted to talk about is remote developer job is quite different than actual on-site job or even some freelancing gigs. In remote development job you have to follow your own discipline and there are certain rules and regulations that you have to set for yourself. So there are chances that not everyone will be suited for it. But if you are someone who has control on your discipline and can implement self-learning yourself, then this is the right career for you. Now let's talk about certain websites that will help you. The first one is AngelList. This one is the most trustworthy as well as most reliable to get your job as remote developer and even as an on-site developer. So if you are someone who want to work with startups on latest technologies and even if you want to work with well-funded startup that are using different techniques, different stacks, this is the right place to search for. AngelList is one of the most trusted website by developers as well as by companies. So it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just create your profile, upload your resume. You have to be quite regular for it. Before moving forward, I also want to talk about that you are not going to get your job in one week or one day or one month. It's a time consuming process and you never know what will be the final date. So you have to be consistent regularly. You have to create a well prepared resume according to the company you are applying. Also you require some good projects as well as you should have skill how to communicate during interviews. So it's a long process that you will learn while applying to different jobs regularly. There are students who usually apply to one or two jobs daily. There are some students who usually apply to three or four jobs daily. It totally depend on you whether you are consistent for applying to different companies. The next website in my list is remoteok.io. Now this is a website which is specifically designed for remote workers and this website is growing quite fast and it is reliable also. There are quite different projects but the thing is you need to filter out countries while applying because there are some companies that only want developers from USA and there are certain companies that only want developers from India or any other country. The main reason that you can think of is time. There are different time frames that company usually work and the other thing is the language, communication mode and quality of people they require. So you have to take care of this part according to yourself. The next one I want to talk about is Stack Overflow. The Stack Overflow job section is growing pretty fast and all the jobs that are getting in Stack Overflow job section are quite well paid. So if you're talking about a job in maybe LinkedIn or AngelList, you might find jobs for maybe $50,000. But if you find Stack Overflow companies, you will find jobs maybe $60,000 to $70,000. Usually well-funded startup try to search job candidates on Stack Overflow. So that's the main reason you find companies that are well-funded and are ready to pay good amount to you. So you have to consider this part. So if you are someone who have good practice with your programming language, have different projects and have good communication skill, then I strongly suggest Stack Overflow. Otherwise, it is really hard to crack interviews with Stack Overflow. Since companies are well funded, they are product based. Also, they are looking for top notch candidate. So you have to be pretty good to apply jobs on Stack Overflow. The next one and that I strongly recommend is WWR. That is we work remotely. So this is specific website for remote developers only, but there is a catch. If a company require developer, they have to pay around $300 to search for their right candidate. So think about it. If a company is paying $300, that means the company is really serious to hire a candidate. So if you are someone who is applying for a remote developer job, I strongly recommend to check WWR because if a company is paying, then you have to understand they are pretty serious. Now the next one that I want to recommend is LinkedIn. Now this platform has evolved really well in past two years. 
for job seekers as well as for companies as a developer if you want to grab good jobs on linkedin you have to have pretty good profile also you need to impress others with your profile and portfolio the first thing you need to understand how the platform work there is a blog section there is job section there is connection section there is recommendation there are groups so you have to understand the platform well you have to understand your profile well before even applying so once you have created your own profile you are connected with different company hr now the next part is you need to search right jobs so all you have to do is just search your job and start on applying now here is a catch that i really wanted to talk about and most people don't even know that this trick exists whatever job you are trying to apply just search about their term in content manner search for python developer and then search for content tab so this will help you to understand different hr post and different hr profile and you can easily grab a new opportunity the second thing is you can search hiring python developers so this will help you to grab all the posts from different company managers and hr and even their employees that are hiring python developers don't forget to add remote world if you are applying for remote developer job now these were the top 5 platform that i strongly recommend and you can try them right now so if you are someone who is a computer science student if you are someone who is a beginner a fresher i strongly recommend to search about these website now if you are a beginner and want to learn programming i strongly recommend to check out my course at unwildlearning.com links are in description the complete course will help you to evolve with python different projects object oriented programming data structures and algorithm and lot more you can get access to complete course right now i hope this video was helpful thank you for watching if you like these type of video make sure you like this video leave a comment if you have any doubt and suggestion for more such videos also don't forget to subscribe because i am putting out lot more content that is related to programming and computer science student thank you for watching i see you in the next one